Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with an X. And this is some real black ass talk. Um, I told you I was gonna do it um, even after Black History Month, so let's get right into it. Today's topic is about can you be successful in the hood? Now, my answer is hell no nah to the no no no. Maybe you can, but only to a certain extent because when not black people but niggas know that you got something or trying to make something out of your life they'll try to stop you you know you meet you might be saying oh yeah you know let me go to school they might tell you oh you going to school that ain't gonna help you none come back and and kick it with us drink a 40 and go um fuck Laquan cause she uh you know been feeling you now instead of going to school and helping your future, now you're about to have a bunch of kids that you don't want and be um, drunk in hoods with all, a bunch of low lowlifes. That is not the life. You know, and it just comes to my attention because I was just thinking about a lot of the stuff, you know, a lot of the people that be hating on me and be living on Section 8. Not only that, I was thinking about like how Marilyn Santana, the guy who played Romeo, on um, what's the show? The Steve Harvey show, uh, the Steve Harvey show in the '90s, not the one now nowadays. For so y'all who not a '90s a kid, uh, yeah. So even though he um, got his fame, he still liked to keep it, you know, and kick it with the people that he knew. He wasn't like um, he didn't change because he got some change. Uh, he didn't change, but uh, he ended up getting killed by this chick named um, well she lied and said that she was 15 I mean said that she was 21 and her name was Mercedes and she wasn't she was actually 15 and her name was Monique and once he found out that she was not who she said she was he dropped her and instead of um, you know and this happened um, like nine months after the Steve Harvey show ended because Steve Harvey show was supposed to end on its 12th season, but the producers wanted a 13th season, so, you know, that happened, and so this was November 9th, uh, 2002, um, yeah, and she, um, told her cousin that she got raped, and she didn't, and instead of them simp niggas going to check, take her to a doctor or something, they just automatically right away believed her, and he got shot in the back of the head. Now, she only got parole. No, she went to juvenile. She only got tried juvenile. She was only there for five months, and those two guys got life in jail. So, and she got, now she's 25. You know, I'm 25, so that happened. A long time ago, she's 25, but even when she got out of jail, she got arrested two times. The first time, I don't know where it was at. The second time, it was in Hollywood, right here in California. And... Now, we don't, you know, because he was trying to be a rapper after that happened, you know. I mean, not after that happened, after the Steve Harvey show ended because he was, um, you know, trying to, you know, get his career back on track or whatever. And, um, yeah, now he's in his grave because some little hood whore, you know, lied on him. You know, that's why you always got to check the people around you, you know. <clears throat> you always, and this could go for um any neighborhood, any place, but I'm just specifically talking about the hood, because, you know, while sometimes it is kind of cool to be kicking it in the hood, you can't really have a life out here. You can't really, you know, be trying to um, be something with a bunch of low life, you know, in great uh, niggly bears, as um, Tommy Sotomayor would say, you know, and then these ratchet chicks is just, um, <laughs> there's, they just, something that you just wouldn't want to be with, you know. If someone's not helping you to be better, to be a better you, then you need to <laughs> give them up, turn them loose. You know, I just feel that, you know, that was sad that really 
had happened to him. Not only that, there was another story where this guy had won the lotto and he was helping out people, you know, in his hood and whatever, and then he ended up getting shot and killed, but they feel like his girlfriend may have set him up because on the news she wasn't crying, she was whatever, and she, she ran out the house, but she didn't see no license plates, no face, no nothing, so and you left the kids inside the house. So, yeah, because most of these chicks, they don't care about your life. These hood whores, they don't. They just lay on their backs. You know, you end up getting into a fight because of something they could have kept their mouth shut with, and they could have kept their mouth shut, but you, you got to fight her battles, and then you end up getting killed, and then she ended up go sleeping with somebody else, open them legs up, get GR, um, Section 8. So, yeah, uh, being successful in the hood is just... Um, as a black person, I, I don't. It, you might have a little success, but you got to get away from black people or <laughs> niggas, so to say. Too big, too big, successful. All right. Any comments, questions, concerns? You know where to leave it. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next on some real black ass talk. Peace.